Happy Fire Alarm Friday, and welcome to today's unboxing of a couple of very rare pulsations. So today's video is going to be another unboxing video. I figured that these devices were certainly worth the unboxing experience and certainly worth a video on their own. Um, given just how rare these are, these are two incredibly rare fire alarm pull stations that I have to thank KCIN556, Nick, um, a great deal for being willing to sell a couple of these to me to add to my collection here. So we'll go ahead and get these unboxed and kind of take a first look at them. I do anticipate that there will be a Discovision coming up of these in the future you, um, you because the they are certainly worth that sort of video style. So that'll probably be the next Discovision project will be an overview of what we're about to unbox here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now I might have to cut a portion of this out. He said that there is a gag gift in here as well. Um, I don't know if it's something I can show on camera, so if the video cuts, that's why. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up the package. Got some bubble wrap here. Let's see. So he's packaged as much like an eBay item, but I did not purchase it through eBay, so... I just did a direct purchase with him for this. All right, so it looks like we have a bunch of eBay tape here holding these two devices together. These are brand new in box as well, so this is certainly quite an exciting experience. They're about as new in box as they can get. Um, Nick has opened these once. If I haven't given it away yet, then I don't know what's gonna give it away until I get the package open here. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, so there is one box. Now I gotta navigate getting the other one out of the bag without hurting it too much. Certainly don't want to hurt the packaging here. Okay, so knife's out of the way. As you can see, we have a couple of pull stations from Gamewell. These are indeed the correct ones as labeled by the box, or they should be until we open them here. Um, we have a Gamewell M69-4 and a Gamewell M69. Nice. So let's go ahead and start with just the plain old M69. Nice. And see what we've got. Actually, let me go ahead and tighten up the shot a little bit here. Perfect. And then let's see. We did a great job of packaging these to where they'll stay nice and safe. So there is a screw just kind of floating around in the box there. I assume it's fallen off. And he did show this in his video, which you'll see a card up on the top right for all of his M69 stuff there. Um, it was pretty nice. And so we have our little leaflet manual here that came with it, uh, basically showing the whole series and how they operated, as well as some of the other accessories you can get, and then the two-stage optional functions as well. So we'll go ahead and set the manual back in the box. And then let's go ahead and get this one unwrapped here. Now the bubble wrap is not original. That was just used to keep the station safe. All right, so there we have it. This is the Gamewell M69. This is a very rare pull station and it is in brand new condition, um, straight out of the box and it's it looks beautiful. It's really light in the hand. I'm honestly surprised at how light these are given that it's a mostly metal construction for the body and it does have um, metal components here for the pull handle itself. I kind of pull back a little bit here. But it's a beautiful pull station. I love the, uh, the shine of the silver color. It's just very clean, very retro look. You can see we've got a couple markings here on the back. And then I have been told that these are somewhat difficult to pull and reset. The pull was not at all difficult. So the entire front of the pull station will slide down to activate the button that is inside here. You can see 
the little push button in there that actuates when the pull station is pulled. So let me grab a flathead screwdriver so that way we can get this reset here really quick. Okay, and we're actually going to try a Phillips head screwdriver because all we have to do is get in there and actuate the little push button here. I just want to make sure I can see it. There we go. Okay, so that was completely off camera. But yeah, you actuate the little push button to get the handle back over it, and then you're good to go. So let's take a look in here at the markings. The XA wants to focus. Come on, there you go. Okay, so you can see kind of the, uh, the basic markings here. It looks like you can use this with an outdoor gasket, and it can be an outdoor pull station. Uh, it does have the optional general alarm section up here where you put like a key switch there. And we can see it was manufactured May 22nd of 1985. So this is a very old pull station. Um, certainly getting on the older side of my collection too. So yeah, let's go ahead and then slide the top part back. And as you reset it, oh look, I get an email. Um, so as you reset the pull station, you have to be careful not to actuate the button again. You just want it to go right down there so it snaps back into place. Because if you go all the way down, it'll just pull the station again, and we're back at square one. So there we go. We have the Gamewell M69. So let's go ahead and move on to the M69-4. So as you can see, uh, it is handwritten on there, M69-4. And these, again, are the original boxes for these two. They came brand new in box when he bought them, and he continued to keep them in their brand new condition for me. Uh, this will be the exact same leaflet, uh, same little packet of information here. It doesn't change between the stations as he showed on his unboxing video. It doesn't look like anything's fallen out in the box there. So once again, let's go ahead and get this one untaped and opened up. Now the M69-4 is the one that has the key reset version here. And it looks like he's got the key taped to the back of the station here. So we're going to need that. Be gentle with it here. There we go. Okay. As we can see, this one's leads have not even been stripped yet. That's how new it is. So the graphics, like he mentioned in his video, are a little bit different between the two stations. Uh, it looks like here, uh, Gamewell went with a bit of a different look. And I have to say, I honestly like the shade of silver for the M69, but I like the graphics on the M69-4. It would be cool to see a combination of them where... This more kind of gunmetal look was used on the M69-4. Um, the Dash 4 certainly has a much glossier finish to it, as you can see, a better reflection of the overhead lights. And then with just the M69, it's kind of just a basic look. So uh, it pulls down and actuates the exact same way. And so now it slides up and down on the little rails so for the m69-4 a key is required to reset this but as nick said not in the way that you would think so the actuation is the exact same method as the basic m69 so everything just kind of slides down on the rails there and then in order to reset it you can't just put the screwdriver in because there is a little tab from the cam lock here that's blocking your ability to get the screwdriver to it. So I guess it's to prevent people from nefariously resetting this if they've activated it. Um, it seems a little bit redundant to me, but I guess it makes sense, and it's kind of a cool concept. So you turn the lock, so that way it moves the little locking piece out of the way of the hole for the screwdriver. And then the reset procedure is just the same as the M69. So it slides down and everything actuates. You can see here, this is what's blocking that little hole for the screwdriver. Um, so you have to turn the key lock there in order to reset it. And then just go ahead and reassemble the pull station the same way. And it's back in one piece. I will go ahead and pull this one again, just so that way we can see the date code on this. I do want to see when it was produced relative to the other one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, interesting. There is not a serial number to indicate a date of production for this. So I don't know how old this one is. I assume it's of the same relative age as the other one. So go ahead and put 
this back in one piece and try not to pull it. All right, there we go. And then that about wraps it up for these two pull stations here. We'll get a glamour shot in just a moment for the thumbnail. But um, yeah, these are two incredibly rare pull stations that are absolutely an awesome piece to have in the collection now. Let's see if I can kind of position them to where you can see them if they don't want to fall. Uh, they're just inconveniencing me, so I'll go ahead and hold them myself. But yeah, that is the Gamewell M69, nice, and the M69-4, quadruple nice. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much to Nick for being willing to part with a couple of these. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.